Man, yeah, we've got some demon action going. What is up there, guys? This is Cole. Welcome back to our Warhammer campaign to make a heap of skulls of the entire planet. You know what I'm saying? We are pushing in right now on the Tower of Flies, man. We're pushing in on the Tower of Flies. We're just going to raise the shout of it. It should just be like an auto victory, right? Just like an auto win, right? We've got like our little bonus army here that we spawned after our victory at the Twisted Towers and all of that. So, yeah, they do have a little army down here. Don't know what the fuck these guys are doing. I also did go ahead and claim the Bridge of Brass kind of off camera as well. Why? Because there's a goddamn Nagel army coming down here and he was heading right for it and he was going to take it, goddammit. So I couldn't wait for those ruins to be naturally colonized by my guys, which is, of course, uh, the Corn Faction's, um, which one of the passives, I guess. But we did... RNG our way into freely uh, capturing Death Axe's monolith, so that's good, man. It's not all bad. Okay, dude. Let's push in here, man. And fuck this up. This should be the most decisive victory ever. Yeah. Uh, let's all resolve this. Easy game, dude. Easy game. Um, I'm actually just gonna colonize it. Why? Because I need to colonize at least one of them. <laughs> Do I colonize this one? Nah, I'm not. Fuck that shit. Let's just fucking make some skulls, dude. The one that I will occupy, because I need to occupy one of them in this province. I guess I'll go ahead and occupy Blackrock. Just makes sense to me. If Nurgle comes down this way and takes this, then we just go to war with Nurgle. Kill this shit. Fucking swing up this way. Just kill everything, dude. Like, nothing is safe. You know what I'm saying? That's our goddamn plan. Okay. Lord not moved, Vincent. You stay right there for now. We're actually in, like, fucking debt with gold because we have so many armies up and running. Just kind of scattered around. We have, like, too many lords, I think, running around, but... It's fine, I think. Can I move from here for now? I can. Can actually match. This might make it so that we can reach Blackrock. Next turn, which would be really, really cool. Vincent, you're officially, uh, officially, rather, a reinforcing army now, so let's go. And sadly, our little extra stack of units here can't move as well, but that's okay, man. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Followers gained, blah, 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 unassigned skill points. Holy shit, man. All kinds of stuff going on. So I, I don't know what the best builds are to go, so I'm just kind of maxing out the red uh, upgrades path for now, I guess. Maybe blues is just better. I don't know, man. These are just more fun, though. Like, hit points and stuff. Hit points, damage. Yeah, I just want to make Scarabind an absolute unit. And just be able to send him after people. Rip the enemy general to shit. That's what it's all about, man. Okay. Let me take care of some goddamn organization action. Okay, we are headed south. But look at this cheeky little bastard, dude. What the fuck is he doing over here, man? Some goddamn beast lord gremlin raiding the shit out of my shit. Um, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna send my doom harvesters. Maybe I just ignore them. Like, what are they really gonna do? They're just raiding. It's like, it's annoying and all, but I can get back to those guys a little bit later, man. I'm not sure I really want to concern myself with that shit. Could just send Vincent back? I don't know, man. Fuck it. We'll send our Doom Harvesters over here, man. Just our happy little extra spawn army, give them something to do, you know? Come out of March stance. Can I really not reach these guys? Are you fucking kidding me? Can I actually not reach them? I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking save and try, man. Alright. Not even ashamed of saving, dude. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, south we go, as was planned. Now, can Vincent actually reach this? If he can, will Vincent's army get Scarbrand's army as reinforcements? That's the question now, man. This would be really, really grand. What do you mean it's right there, dude? Just go a little bit further, dude. Man, fuck everything. Oh my god. Well, that fucking sucks. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next turn. Alright, turn has ended. Let's see where this bastard goes. Can he actually get around us? 
Should have tried to position it a little bit more southward. See, that's my mistake, man. I may be a servant of the blood god and all of that, but I can still admit when I'm wrong, right? That's an important quality for a demon overlord to have. And I'm sure my camera just lagged all over the place while we were in that little transition there, but that's fine, man. Ambush had discovered it. It wasn't a very good ambush, really. I mean, I saw him go there, you know what I'm saying? Meat magic. What the hell is this? Okay, very cool. Let's just go, man. This is going to be a big one, man. Valiant defeat is on the cards. What? Oy, 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 oy. So we are just kind of maintaining the siege on these guys now. They're losing units from attrition every turn. So I think I'm fine to just maintain the siege for now. I know it's not like a very Cornish thing to do, but... I don't want to lose my goddamn bloodletting progress, but at the same time... Like, these guys had a lot of, a lot of fucking units, man. But they're losing all kinds to attrition right now, so I think I just want to kind of maintain the siege. I think that it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You have got to be fucking shitting me, dude. From complete RNG. These guys with like a 3% chance of something to re-inhabit these ruins in the area. Retook both of the ruins behind me. That we'd already captured. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I mean, it doesn't even have like a garrison here at all. You know? Maybe I could just run up with it with fucking Timmy and just take it for free because it's completely undefended. That'd be kind of hilarious. Let's see if we can do that, but... That is fucking insane RNG, man. That is insane RNG. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, maintain the siege for now. These guys are just rotting like crazy, so... God damn it, man, they got a garrison force set up in the goddamn Twisted Towers. Fucking irritating. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna invade now. And then we'll just romp our way back up here. And maybe just invade Nagel after this. Oh my god, Nagel's... Nagel is starting to lose his settlements to Zinch. Okay, dude. All right, man. All right, all right. Let's step on this, man. Let's make this happen. Close victory, huh? All right, dude. All right, dude. All right, dude. Okay, man. First things first. Let me check out Brooks, man. I got him a new mount. Oh, my God, dude. He's on a goddamn bike. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? All right, man. That was totally worth it, man. Got two little dudes in the front of it as well, man. All right, man, sweet. Sick. Wow, we don't really have much room to attack from this side, do we? So, we're going to spend a little while just formating all of these guys. It's also very, very important that we get the gates down so we can get our cavalry in, but I think that we're going to smash this, boys. So, give me a moment. Okay, so here is the plan. Pretty simple, really, to be honest. I'm just going to bum rush them. That, 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 that's really it. Can I just say how sick these goddamn towers are, by the way? Look at that. There's no one even pushing them, by the way. These are just extra units outside of them. The guys who are actually in the tower are just in them already, and I guess they're just, like, magically propelled or something. Um, which is just so fucking awesome, dude. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna assault the wall from that side. We're gonna hit the goddamn middle over here. We're gonna get Scarbrand in, and the wolves. As soon as the doors are down, we're just gonna fucking bum rush him with beasts. And the big escort himself. My plan is just to get Scarbrand onto the enemy generals. And just fuck them up. And just kill those guys fast. Take them out, man. I want to kind of make like a duelist of Scarbrand. I like to do that with like my lead, uh, my lead lord or my lead general, you know. Just make them an absolute 1v1 god. So they can really quickly and easily take out the enemy generals in like duels. Why? Because it's sick, man. That's why, dude. Okay, let's do this. Let's fucking go, man. They got all kinds of flying units. The general's actually flying as well. I hope he comes out to try to attack our goddamn... Our goddamn ram, man. That'd be pretty sick. Now, very slowly, Scarbrand, start pushing in a little. We can also summon in our guys. Uh, summon from beyond on top of the wall as well. To help take out all of the dudes on the walls. Very, very lovely. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Please don't destroy it in my ship before I even get to the walls, man. That would suck. 
Well, would you look at that? They zoomed in some idiots on our back lines. Take him out with the cavalry. It really shouldn't last too long. You guys just hold off real quick. Because we absolutely eviscerate those idiots. Alright, we have reached the walls already with our first boys. Oh, come on. Don't say I can't summon them onto the walls. I can't? Oh, dude. I want to summon my demons up on the walls. That would have been amazing. Alright, up you guys go. Our lads are pouring onto the walls here as well. My lads, I mean little demon boys. Wow, you guys took a real beating before getting up here, huh? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody up, everybody up. What the hell is going on over here, dude? Man, don't fucking stand for that shit, Skybrand, dude. There's some of our face demons here. Fucking let's go. Start taking these flying units out, man. Let's absolutely have them. Okay, man, how are we doing up on the walls, man? We kind of getting eradicated a little bit, or at least take our little crappy demons out. Oh, these guys are actually doing fine. You all need to get over there and help, though. Go, 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 go. Let's do this. How are we doing on this wall? Not that goodly, to be honest. Not that great. At least our batting ram is now at the goddamn uh, gatehouse, man. Oh, wow, is it down already? Holy shit, man, it's down already. Let's fucking go, man. Let's go. Skybrand and the wolves are going for it. We're making a big-ass goddamn push. Actually, gonna give these guys the attack damage. Yeah, their general's up there being a fucking coward. Not by concern about him. Ugh. Skybrand just fucking people up. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. Getting everything in now. Our reinforcements have arrived as well. So these guys are all running in. I'm just sending in people through the front gate now. Just to kind of fuck some shit up. Summoning in our demons right here. Skybrand pop everything and get on their goddamn general, man. Such is the plan. No, just absolutely maul him, dude. Absolutely maul him. Here comes the goddamn reinforcements and shit. Skybrand absolutely fucking this guy up. Oh my god, is he just dead? I think he's just- he's just gone, dude. He is just gone. And Skybrand is an absolute goddamn legend, can I just say? Just incredible. Can I fire breath these guys real quick? Might hit a lot of my own guys, but it is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Nice. Insta route those guys. Don't know what you guys are doing out here, man. Come on. Let's go. Cavalry are all in. And now we're just absolutely mincing them. This is just absolute eradication now. And you know what? I'm going to take a bunch of the wolves, send them over here. Yo, lay FK up on the walls. Get your asses down. Man, we actually took the walls pretty effectively, to be honest. We didn't do that bad of a job at all. Come on, Skybrand. Ugh. Fucking dive bomb attack on the doggos. I feel bad for attacking the doggos, man, but... You know... Cone's legions are not above some animal cruelty. Oh shit. And we just won. That was absolute destruction, man. Did we lose any full units? I don't think we lost any full complete units. Maybe one or two of the blood letters, but those are just fucking... Those are just peasants anyway, man, you know? Sweet. Yes. Yes. Look at all of the death. Look at all the skulls, man. Oh, that's a juicy amount of skulls right there. Okay, man. Sick. Uh, yeah, we gotta occupy one of these. Might as well be this one. Easy game, Scarecrow banner and shit. Very lovely. Okay, there's no time to wait around, boys. We gotta get right on back to the Tower of Flies now. No rest for the weary. Oh my god, look at all our goddamn gold right now, dude. Okay, dude. Really, I can't match. 
And fine, 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 fine. Okay, when can I upgrade this? Yes. Infernius. Okay, this is actually a huge decision, and I'm not sure which one to go for, man. Um, given that there's two different types of, uh, like, Citadel building that you can go for now. Um, one of them seems to give... This converts it into what? A Bastion. Okay, whatever, man. A Dimensional Rift. This one gives us, like, reduced recruitment costs and reduced costs on the construction of military recruitment buildings. Whereas this one gives what? More control, more growth, or maybe it just gives like more... Yeah, it actually gives a lot more uh, population growth. Oh man, and a lot more corn corruption as well. I think I've got to go with this, right? I've got to go with the military, surely. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too fun, man. It's just too fun to not go for the goddamn military citadel. Okay, man. Oh, wow. These guys are actually still alive? What the fuck? This guy, this army cannot sustain itself without constant bloodshed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Alright, dude. Back up towards the north we go. Recapturing everything on the way. You know what I'm saying? So this should be easy. Bam. Easy game. We need to actually replenish our skulls, man. So let's do that shit. Very cool. Oh, they had reinforcements there as well. I didn't notice Ruffle about. Okay, let's go this way. And we might as well also march Vincent after them. Vincent's just learning, man. He's just watching what Scarbrand does, you know. Watch what Big Daddy Scarbrand does and copying off him, man. Gives me experience, you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, yeah, you can just steer. Perch, we have some unassigned skill points. I think I'm just going to conquer both of these places here. Then we either go west over this way and conquer all of this. Or we start raiding the south. I think raiding the south might be kind of cool, man. Okay, and back on to the Twisted Towers. Very, very lovely. Oh, wow, man. Medium casualties. I don't know if I'm, I'm so happy with that, man. I don't want to take no goddamn medium casualties, you know? Eh, let's just fight this one, man, and make it nice and easy. Alright, there we go. That's how we handle it, man. Um... Fuck it. Finally. Faction destroyed, man. That's what we like to see. What the fuck do you mean Brox was killed in battle? Oh, bloody hell. We're going to have to reincarnate Brox, man. Bloody hell. Oh, shit. I guess I kind of missed the little skull pile over here, huh? Fuck. Got to send someone down there to pick that up. Eventually. You know? Oh, God. I only have six tens to get it. Oh, bloody hell, man. <sighs> Vincent. Vincent. Put your ass down there, man. In fact, make a double time. Let's go, goddammit. Alright, and from this point onwards in the video, I'm afraid that my face cam is going to have to be covered up. Why? Because, well, I was actually recording the rest of this video on a totally separate day altogether. And on that day, I happened to not be recording audio, so fuck yeah, man. Yes, I recorded like two hours of Warhammer gameplay, the end of this episode, and the entire next episode without any fucking audio so good shit so what i'm gonna do is just provide like a kind of overview director's cut uh kind of style commentary to this one um as we head off into the west here to begin to conquer the lands northwest of what we control right now you know um decided to go up there instead just because well i don't want to be getting backstabbed all the time by little shit stains so i just thought you know what this has conquered the entire continent that we are on uh, for the time being, as you can see, we're declaring war on these little plebs here right now. Um, and they're basically on death's door as it is. So I believe coming up is a pretty easy auto-resolve victory. Um, really nothing much to... Oh, never mind. See, I was totally wrong. We actually fight this one on the battle map because it has some reinforcements then. I really wasn't taking into account. So, yeah. Giving a quick rundown of the formation here. As you can see, it's just the massive kind of jackhammer effect. Led by Scarbrand, as always, rushing into the front. 
And we have a few really sweet kind of side on cavalry charges as well going on on other areas of the map. But right now we can just enjoy Scarbrand mullying people. Psych! Here comes the goddamn cavalry charge with this fucking bike. I absolutely love this goddamn unit. It's just so good. And I think that I just basically show off a couple of cavalry charges here because, well, they're just satisfying to watch, man. They're satisfying to watch. We also have this little skirmish going on on one of the side um, capture points. My wolves kind of getting messed up on the point. And for once, I actually remember to use my flying units sandwich in these guys with the tastiest little flank that I think I've ever executed in a kind of little side skirmish like this. It's just pleasurable. It just pleases me, you know. Um, so yeah, from this point on, most of the battle is kind of just a bit of a slugfest. Looks like we've got another sweet cavalry charge going on here on the other side of the map. And this one is just, oh man. Oh man. It's just glorious. It's just glory. It's one thing they've got absolutely perfect in this game, man. Is um, just like high charge standard units. Just feeling so impactful. Look at that fucking guy, man. Insane. And so for the rest of this clip, uh, it's basically just Skyrand beating the shit out of their general. Nice and easy. Settlement claimed. Minimal casualties. It's how we like to do it. So, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Nice little dog charges and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, sweet. Uh, sick, even. Battle polished up. Decisive victory. Feeling it pretty good about that one. And I think we just go ahead and raise the settlement as well, but... Man, well, this is an interesting way of doing things. You know what, man? Maybe we'll actually, maybe recording the videos like this and showing them in this way where we can kind of like uh, skip through the content much, much faster in this way will be a way to do it as well. As you can see, we're just pushing even deeper into the west at this point, you know, um, where we're eventually going to begin to encounter the Slaneshi factions. So that should be interesting too, but... These guys as well, really no contest. I was actually being a little bit confused at this point, given that this was another, like, Demons of Corn faction, and we went automatically at war with these guys. Not sure what the hell was going on with that, but... Yeah, turns out that settlement was completely undefended anyway. So, we actually go ahead and occupy that one, just because it's the capital settlement of the province. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, we're panning over from the west here. Kind of just showing you guys what we've got so far. That's all of our territories, obviously, in the eastern side. Um, and I believe that pretty soon, some fucking demon portals and demon gates start to open up. They kind of throw a bit of a spanner into the works, but... Yeah. That being over there, the Slaneshi settlement to the west of the screen right now. That is what's gonna fall next, man. It begins pushing into Slaneshi's territory until... Wait for it. Oh, fuck. The goddamn portals open, boys. So the portals opening mechanic or the gateways opening uh, to the kind of plane of chaos, to the realm of chaos. Um, I'm just learning about all of this for the first time. So basically these gateways open and they stay open for like 15 turns. Um, demons start to spawn out of them if you don't take care of them quickly. By take care of them, I mean match to them with an army. Fuck up the demons that are there and close the gate or enter the gate into the realm of chaos, and that's what we decide to do. Well, eventually, with Scarbrand, anyway. I actually can't remember what I do with this city. Okay, looks like we just auto-resolve this anyway. Nice and easy win. Smashed, wrecked, abused. And then we just raise the fuck out of this. Very, very nice. There's actually a huge Asselineshi army on its way down to us at this point. So I just rose that settlement, rose, raised <laughs> that settlement uh, with the second option. I think this is blood for the blood god or whatever. That summons like that second little demon army. And they're just going to act as a buffer to slow those guys down as we enter into the realm of chaos through this. Uh, is it a Slaneshi portal? Oh yeah, sweet. We get to choose whichever rift we want to enter. So I actually go ahead and I just choose the first option. Uh, to enter into the Blood God's realm. And before we get to that, that is actually where we're going to wrap up this episode. So the entirety of next episode is basically going to be us in the Chaos Realm of Corn. I'm going to look forward to seeing you guys there and apologize in advance if covering the videos and covering the battles and stuff in this kind of director's cut commentary style 
isn't so good and isn't quite as entertaining and all of that. I'm sorry, boys. Don't know how I managed to do it. You'd think that I'd start doing this yesterday and hadn't been making YouTube videos for like 12 years, but it turns out I'm still a retard. So, sorry for not recording the audio properly, boys, and I hope I will still catch you all in the next episode of our Gosh Dan Corn campaign. <laughs>